tonight, Aerotropics vows to fight a CASA safety decision to ground its fleet. A Mariba farmhouse destroyed by fire. Serial drunken sailor allegedly caught five times over the limit. And celebrities flock to Mission Beach for a five-star affair. Across Cairns and far north Queensland, with Rob Bruff and Joanne Desmond, this is 7 Local News. Good evening, folks. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Mission Beach locals are up in arms over exorbitant local fuel prices. Petrol is consistently seven cents more expensive in Mission Beach than Tully, even though the towns are just kilometres apart. Inconsistent fuel pricing is painfully obvious in Mission Beach. Locals pay 7 to 10 cents a litre more than people just 10 minutes away in Tully, making a joke of shopper docket savings. Weekend Bowser prices are $1.64.9 if for fuel in Mission Beach, while 20 kilometres down the road in Tully, they're 7 cents cheaper. But it seems the issue isn't location-based. When Woolworths opened its new Mission Beach store on Friday, the adjacent Caltex immediately dropped prices to a competitive level. It was $1.64 on Thursday. Friday when Woolies opened, it was $1.57. And now with the fuel voucher, it's $1.53. Next door at Shell, the higher price stands. Locals say something's got to give. A car's not a luxury anymore. It's something that we all need. Especially here, we don't have the public transport like in the cities. So, yeah, it's not fair at all. It's just rude. It's, um, it's not fair. Why is it, you know, 20k down the road, 7, 7 cents to 11 cents cheaper? The retail giants and oil companies blame each other for the high prices, but struggling families continue to suffer. It's very hard to afford fuel, especially to run this one to daycare, to take her to the doctors, going shopping. It's too expensive, costing me about $50 a week in fuel. Scott Forbes, 7 News. An old Mission Beach resort has been given the five-star treatment in a bid to establish the area as a first-class holiday destination. The Alandra was relaunched with a glitzy, glamorous party attended by the wonderful and the weird on Saturday night. Singer and former Bond girl actress Grace Jones was flown in from London for the event. Adam Carris and Katrina Knowles took over the horizon at Mission Beach almost a year ago. After deciding it was stuck in an 80s time warp, the enterprising husband and wife duo gave the resort a $5 million makeover. You could be anywhere. You walk through the, the foyer and mm. you, you really could be anywhere in the world. The rooms are individually decorated with African safari-style furniture and artefacts that Adam and Katrina collected in their travels. And the natural works of art remain unchanged. The views are incredible. All the time you can just wake up and look out to these incredible, spectacular views. The resort's launch kicked off in true style with a spectacular poolside party. It followed the safari theme with fire throwers, tribal dancers and Grace Jones. Her late arrival was as fashionable as her detailed costumes. There was a new outfit for every song. While they waited, the crowd were entertained by safari dancers, snakes and the costumes. I think everyone has done a really good job because safari glamour is quite a hard theme. I think you should use clothing to tell people who you are. So I think everyone tonight is saying they're on a safari in their own way. 300 people were flown in from interstate to be the Alandra's first guests. I used to live in Cairns years ago, but I haven't come here for a very long time, so it's an absolute treat. I think the best thing about it is that it's really private and secluded. Um, it's a very sexy boutique resort. For everyone else, a room will cost between $220 and $450. Ashlyn O'Connor, 7 News. Lovely. Thanks for that, Liv. Well, it's 7 Local News for this Monday night. Thanks for your company. Folks, we'll see you tomorrow night from the team. Good night. Good night.